Hi everyone, welcome to Yogetic. My name is Esther. Um, today I'd like to talk to you what to do for stiff joints. So basically, um, any kind of yoga is good for stiff joints, but something specifically you can do, especially around winter time and you know this kind of time of year, is just making circular movements with the joint. It's very, very simple, very, very effective. It just get, keeps the whole joint fluid and um, moist. Another thing you should be doing is taking oil. You know, go to your local health food shop and ask what kind of oil suits your type. Um, that's the best best advice I can give. And really, you know, oil is always good. If you don't eat a lot of oily fish, you really want to be thinking about that. So rolling the joints, for example, is just making fists and rolling the hands 10 times one direction and 10 times another direction. And you can do that any time of the day. You can do it while you're watching TV or even better if you take the time for it, obviously. And if you can be aware, it's more yogic. But at the same time, if you just want to get the benefits, get it in whenever you can. And the same with the shoulder joints, just rolling them. You know, keeping that part of the body moving and active, especially when you get a bit older or you lead a more sedentary lifestyle sitting in front of a computer a lot, things like that. And you can do the same with your ankle joints, really important. So you could just sit and you can hold your leg and just roll the foot one way and roll it the other way. Or you can just sit on a chair and just roll the foot around one way and the other way. Again, 10 times each side is a good thing. Do it both sides always. You can also roll the foot for yourself. It can be really nice. You give a little bit of support with your hand around the ankle joint. And you hold the foot relaxed while you make the movement. It's another way of doing it. So it can be really nice. Think about the knees. I like to do this one. So you stand close. You place your hands on knees. And you just roll circles. It's also good for the ankles. And the other way. And of course your hips. So you can make just little movements around this way. And make them a bit bigger. You can lead the hips a bit with your hands. And always remember to go both ways. And also the separate hip joints. Just kind of think about sort of stepping and moving your feet, your legs that way. You can bring your arms with it just to make a little dance, make it a bit more fun. And as well, just get that body moving. Simple movements just for the joints. It can be a nice warm up for your yoga or if you don't like yoga so much, this is something you can do instead. Okay. And of course your head. And with your head, you want to just be careful. You just want to Sort of move the head from left to right. A few times you want to think about lifting your chin up and letting your chin drop. You want to think about moving your ears from side to side. And if you would do neck rolls, I would suggest not trying to make them as deep as possible, but actually keeping them really, really light, keeping the extension and just thinking about rolling around this part of your neck, you know, where the neck meets the head, where the joint is, that rocks that way. So you just very gentle circles with the top of the head drawing circles on the ceiling and the other way. Okay, so basically with joints, anything, any joint you can think of, making circular movements, elbows, we haven't done the elbows yet is um, a good idea. And with the spine, you can roll up and down. But while you roll up and down, you want to keep your lower abs really drawn in. And if it doesn't feel right, then it probably isn't the right for you at the moment. Something to remember with rolling up and down. I always have my lower abs for stability. One for it right at a time. Last thing 
that comes up is the head. When you go down, first thing that goes down is the chin. And you roll down from there. Okay. Hope I gave you some ideas to keep your joints healthy. Um, really important, uh, especially when you feel they get stiffer and think about taking enough oils. It's going to make a world of difference as well if you've got clicking joints. You know, when you start making these movements, you start to notice, hey, stuff is clicking away. Take oils. Okay, namaste. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.